Hey there, this is Alex of Pacific Northwest Bible Journaling, and I'm really honored to have joined the Creative Retreat Design Team as of April 2019, and here I am about ready to dive into their Faith Art Box for the month of April. I immediately knew I wanted my first entry to be themed in remembrance because the first week of the month at our church, we serve communion and partake as a body of Christ. And I love that we take an opportunity every month to do that in remembrance of Jesus and the sacrifice he made. So specifically, I am journaling in Luke chapter 21 and I'm focusing in on the verse that says, verse 19, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And I, the whole section of the Lord's, the first Lord's supper is the one I will end up really highlighting and journaling next to. I wanted to use that main sticker in remembrance and found that there was some perfect word fetty to go with it. However, it the sticker itself didn't have the little loaf of bread, and so I chose to use the stamp. You'll see me here using just a light pink um, ink pad. You can get some great ones through Creative Retreat. I will link all of my supplies in the description below, or at least the ones that you can still get. Um, but I wanted to include that little loaf of bread, so I just stamped it using an ink, uh, ink pad and a, an acrylic block onto a small piece of paper, cut it out, and I'm using lining them all up on my washi tape just to sort of give me an idea of how I want the words to be um, bubbled together on my page. So from here, I know that I wanna create a color background, and I originally started off thinking I wanted to scrape some acrylic paint. However, I found I really did not have the right color match. So I decided to use the Faber-Castell Gelatos. This one here is metallic blueberry, and then I'll jump over to using metallic mint. And I'm really blending them to sort of get that color you see on the sticker pad there to my right. It's a pale, sea foamy color, and I figured if I blended these two, it would be the closest I could get on the background of my page to give me a pop of color. I'm just using a baby wipe to spread it and to highlight that portion of scripture, kind of frame it in. Um, I did find that I wanted it so well blended that I got my page a little bit wet. Oh, and I needed a little extra green added in. So that bit of wetness, I usually would just let air dry, but given that I wanted to get right down to the journaling, I snagged my, um, hand dryer. You'll see me do that here. It did create a little wrinkling effect, which doesn't really bother me. You can try using an iron to smooth out the pages if you find that you need to. You saw I blew my little loaf of bread away there, so be careful with your dryer that you don't lose any of your elements that aren't glued down. Um, so at this point, I knew that I wanted to get those stickers down, sort of focus in on I, I was trying to create kind of a triangu triangulated effect on my page to draw your attention to that framed in scripture. So I really did line those words up nearby. Um, and then I will quickly outline them as well to make the word Fetty and the stickers pop well. Um, in order to adhere items to my page this time around, I'm using a Tombow mono liquid multi-glue. Um, so you saw me use that there to to adhere that little loaf of bread to the page. Um, then I grabbed a Faber-Castell Pit uh, Big Brush Pen, and it is Dark Chrome Yellow 109, and I found it was like the exact color, so that's nice. I don't always have the perfect matches in my stash, but that was one I happened to have. Here I'm using the stickers to bring purple and pink um, that are part of the stickers to other areas of my page, um, trying to sort of balance out the colors. So I created a little um, blurb of hearts, um, a medley of hearts there off to the left, um, and then I am going to outline these stickers. And again, outlining stickers or outlining um, alpha letters just helps them kind of pop out of the page, especially because here I wanted the loaf of bread to look like part of the In Remembrance sticker. So by going around the entire thing, it sort of gives the effect of it being one sticker rather than me having added the extra piece. You also saw on that yellow word Fetty, um, I cut off in. It said originally do this in remembrance, but the main title of In Remembrance already had the word in, so I did just cut that off and save it for later use. Um, and then, how next I'm going to 
take the actual devotional card and I'm going to punch out a tab. Now, I know that I have not finished with the content. I'm excited to do a stones entry next. And so I didn't want, you'll see me kind of double check there, um, to cut into any of the words itself. So I lined up so that my tab punch got a little poppy there off to the left, but it also didn't cut off any of the actual content yet. Um, I'm a believer in using up that content card. I'll use it for word Fetty or I'll use all the poppies off the back, but for this very first entry, I know I want to still have it. So um, here I am using one of the acrylic stamps that says remembrance, and I'm just trying to get an idea for the spacing because I'm going to stamp it on another piece of paper to create a little word fetty, but I wanted to make sure that it would fit. Um, the back side of that tab does have some of the Aaron Davis um, bio on it, so you'll see later I use a little bit of washi tape to cover that up so that the back side of the tab um, looks nice on the other side as well. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I just sort of learned this strategy of creating a little bit of a kind of a tab cluster that when you put several little stickers or paper pieces at the top of your page, um, it looks a certain way. So you'll see me, I'll, I'll get back to that in a minute. I got a little distracted by some art marks here. So I added some hearts with kind of a pink, peach, yellow um, pens that I had on hand. Um, again, these are just craft, some of them are craft pens, some are official Bible journaling pens. They're all different. They're just pens I had in my stash that match. I add some little hash marks and some dots. Here I used that um, pit pen, the dark chrome yellow, to stamp the word remembrance for my word Fetty on my tab. And I can see that I, I'm going to infringe on the poppy a little. And so instead, when I create the little cluster of pieces, I offset the word remembrance to the right so that you could really still see the poppy. Um, and I love that the poppy is a symbol that was used in this particular kit. Danielle did a great job of incorporating a really symbolic flower because they are a flower of remembrance. So I wanted that to be visible on the tab itself. Um, so I offset the word slightly. Here you see I'm taking some washi and while I'm trying to figure out where to put it, I actually choose to cover the back bit of the tab that had extra words from the devotional card with the washi just so it looks nice on the back. And then I'll use that extra little piece hanging off to the right to kind of help the tab pop off the page rather than be white on white. Um, by putting a little bit of washi there, it really makes it pop out. So I glued that down with the same um, multi-glue by Tombow. And then I'm going to snag my um, tiny attacher, Tim Holtz tiny attacher. I, this is a new tool that I just love using. I like the texture that those little staples create. Um, and they found that they really don't harm my page. And so I've, I love using it to create that little extra bit. Here again, I wanted to really emphasize that this was a um, kind of a memorial page to doing communion and the act of communion. So I wanted that bread and wine cup present again somewhere on the page. So I was using, that's what I love. You see my little guy get in here and he says, oh, you're doing bread and wine, are you mom? Um, and I told him, yes, he's seen me do communion at church. And so here I ended up stamping it on a piece of white paper, but I used that acrylic block to kind of float the image around to see where I liked it best on the page. And that's what's so great about acrylic stamps is it, because you can see through the block, you really get to pick where you place it and how it's gonna look. So it, that helped me decide that I actually wanted the bread and wine at the top of the page. Adding a bit of washi at the bottom to kind of tie the top and bottom together. Then I'm using the numeral stickers to create the date. I always date my pages. Usually I use a date stamp, but since the kit comes with number stickers, I thought that would be a fun change up for me, um, doing something a little bit different because the kit is so different than what I've used in the past. Um, I love this color scheme. It's super springy um, and very bright and kind of encouraging. I, I found that the topic of remembrance sometimes is fairly serious, but the color scheme and all the fun little shapes and bits really were inspiring to me. So I again outlined those numbers at the bottom of the page so that they would pop. Um, the numbers themselves are white, so that little bit of extra black around them just make them pop off the page. Now I'm adding my journaling, um, and what I really have found is through the season of Lent, I have been focusing on the names of Jesus and if Jesus is 
something, it makes us his children something. And so one of the recent emphases is emphases that I've had is expressing praise and thankfulness to him for who he is. And so I noted that in my journaling, um, we forget oftentimes who Jesus is to us or what he did for us. At least I do. And I know that the Israelites did so many times. And I know that when I go to do my next entry, I'm going to do it paired with the story of the Israelites and how they built altars using rocks. But I was really struck as I've been also reading through the Old Testament how much the Israelites forgot what God had promised them or what God had done for them and that he still was good and he still called them to obedience. Um, So I noted that in my journaling because I'm always trying to make connections between different studies I'm doing or what the Lord is teaching my heart. And I found that when I do that, um, I really do remember what I've learned. So as you can see here, just grabbed some supplies I had on hand, used the Faith Art Box from Creative Retreat to create a really simple and beautiful entry in remembrance of what Jesus has done for us on the cross. So do this in remembrance of me. This is my body broken for you. This is my blood shed for you. Hope you enjoyed following along. You can check out more on the Creative Retreat blog or check out the links on the bottom description of this entry. Have a great spring.